Welcome. Here we go. Another problem. We got negative 9.5 equals negative y plus 7.1. And I love this problem because if students are working through this, um, everything else, they start getting you know comfortable. It's like, all right, I'm getting this. And then, bam, give them a little decimal point, and we mix in a little negative one, and thing just goes out. And it's like, oh my god, where did I go? But that's why I made this video, right? Hopefully help you out. So negative 9.5 equals negative y plus 7.1. For all of you that were uh, um, so brilliant and smart and you get in your head, you're like, oh man, I don't need to watch these videos. I can do this in my head. Um, hopefully this problem you can still do in your head, um, but usually a lot of students start, this is like, oh, I gotta start thinking about this one, right? And you gotta, um, takes a little bit more time than the other ones. And we could even do harder problems than this. Um, but you understand though, it's really important that if you can just learn the properties or use the inverse properties and the reverse order of operations, then you can solve any two-step pro two problem. You don't need to do them all in your head, even though it's very important for you to be able to do problems in your head without always having to rely on the methods. But that just comes with practice, of course. So again, remember, um, so our, inverse, our reverse order of operations tell us that we need to undo addition and subtraction before multiplication and division. So I need to look at my 7.1 and say, what is that doing to my variable? Well, it's adding, so therefore I need to subtract. So I'm gonna subtract a 7.1, and I need to make sure I subtract 7.1 on both sides of the equal sign. To represent both sides of the equal sign, I'm just gonna draw a dotted line, just so you kinda know when I say both sides, I mean both sides of the equal sign, all right? Well, 7.1 minus 7.1 is gonna become zero. Zero plus negative y is still gonna be a negative y. And then negative 9.5 minus 7.1 is a negative 16.6. So now I have negative 16.6 equals negative y. And this is where students are like, oh, what do I do here? What is this negative y? Remember, the multiplication property of negative one states that negative y is the same thing as negative one times y. All right, that's a very important property for you to understand. So therefore, negative y is really just the negative one minus, or sorry, negative one times y. So to undo multiplication of a negative one, I need to divide by negative one. Okay, well, any number divided by itself is just gonna be that number, but then I have a negative divided by negative, which will make it a positive. And then over here, um, I, I'm just gonna cancel out my negative, so I'll have 16.6 .6 equals just a positive y. Then I'll just flip this around by using my reflexive property to say y equals 16.6. .6. And we can plug it in, check our answer, um, go through it if you like. I'm just gonna leave it at here, um, and hopefully you understand that uh, just to use your reverse order of operations and then make sure that multiplication property you want to get so many students. But don't feel overwhelmed when you see decimals. Just treat them like any other numbers. If you need to use your calculator or you know whatever else you're allowed, use that. But they're just other numbers. Thanks.